Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So tonight's little offering is a quick look round this little fella and this is the PBK backpack hand hatchet or mini axe. Stay with me and we'll have a quick look round it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so before we actually go outside and show this thing some wood to cut and chop, I'll just go around a few specs and give you a quick look around this. So it comes in this nylon sheath, which has two flaps, velcro fastened flaps, and a little carry loop there on the on the back. <coughs> it's quite nice. Um, so there's the actual small hatchet, mini hatchet itself. As you can see, it's new and unused at the moment. Its total length is around 9 inches. It has a nice grip. It's like a nylon um, composite moulded um, shaft or handle, which is hollow. You could actually store other items in there if you wanted to. <coughs> it has an eyelet there to attach a lanyard, should you want to as well. The, the actual axe head is um, stainless steel. Um, it's a nice sharp edge to be fair, it is sharp out of the box. It has a hammer pummel on the back there for cracking open nuts, maybe driving in tent pegs, <coughs> excuse me, etc. Or I guess if you do get this stuck, you can batten it down should you need to. Um, and basically, that's all there is to this little fella. I got this from Blades and Bows, currently on sale. Um, for around, I think it was five ninety nine, something like that. So it's not expensive, really. And they advertise it as a backpack hack or hatchet. So do I rate it? Is it any good? Let's go out and show it some wood, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got a few pieces of reasonable sized um, luggage, woodage out here. So, nothing massive, you know, like any tool, you've got to use it within the capability of its design, really. So, it's no good trying to cut a tree down with this, you're going to come unstuck. <laughs> so, let's just go for a standard, a standard blow to start with. So, with it being nice and sharp, whilst it is only light, I think this weighs 455 grams. It gets the job done if you don't give it something that's beyond its capabilities. So. Yep, no problems. So again, on doing that, using this method, the long method, you know you see a lot of people saying because it's a nylon plastic handle, if you twist this it'll break. Yes it will. But you shouldn't be twisting the axe. Proper uses. You should drive. You should drive the axe into the wood, and then twist the wood. If that makes sense. So then the forces applied are on the cutting blade, not on the on the shaft. And that is true with any axe, big, small, wood, metal, or fiberglass. So let's keep going. Let's, um, at the end of the day, this is for around the campfire to make a bit of kindling with, let's be honest. The only problem I'm finding with this, with it being a short handle, I'm having to get over it, which I don't like doing. I'd rather be away and back, so should I miss, I'm not driving this thing into my thigh. I don't like short handled axes for that reason. But, um, gets the job done in a fashion at the end of the day like I say it's for basically making kindling so you know it is what it is so, um, it's actually quite sharp you will be able to use that for making feather sticks uh, sticks with as well when you choke up close onto that so uh, yeah for what it is it's okay Water's pretty rotten and punky. Let's try something else. Okay, that's 
good old seasoned wood. So not a problem at all really. Then like I say, the only thing for me is the handle length is too short for me for my liking, my personal preference. The weight with it only being 450 odd grams for me yes whilst it's easy to carry um, it's too light for me personally that's just my opinion yeah anyways that's a little look around this fella so I'm gonna go back into the shed now and show you something else which in my opinion would be a better choice so stay with me and we'll wrap this up okay so in closing the pbk hatchet um backpack hatchet it's okay for what it is in my opinion um i'll tell you the truth and this is absolutely the truth but opinion based so take it for what it is guys and lasses would i recommend it for the money no i wouldn't and this is the reason why and the reasons why <laughs> my opinion is based on on these facts so I've also gone ahead and brought this little fella it's only cheap it's a basic um, DIY store brought hand hatchet or small axe this one is a pound and a half in weight so a lot more substantial and yes more weight to carry it's a good ways longer in fact bear with me I'll cut the tape and we'll just have a quick look this one is in total length is 16 inches it's brand new it's only a cheap manufactured brand it's the silver line and hatchet it is sharp and for me I can now nail down or side straggle this um, axe and when I make blows I'm well clear of any misses because of the length the ex extra length which also means that I'm able to deliver more power plus the weight the extra weight which <clears throat> whilst I can still choke up on this and create feather sticks etc should I need to to me this was it's more versatile than this you know I'm very limited with this and I don't like the way you have to get up really close to make any chops with this for me that's that's an injury waiting to happen that's, this is all just my opinion this was five pounds delivered from I believe it was FFL tools I'll put a link in the description box below over in the UK it was five pounds with free PMP so yes it's a heavier thing to carry but it will still fit in a backpack comes with a little guard so you probably want to make yourself a mask for it or some some sort of a loop to carry it um, for me being a UK citizen I keep any cutting tool in my backpack until I need to take it out to use it anyway purely because of the legality of everything over here so I'm not bothered about it having a fancy you know belt loop carry mask really to be honest as long as the cutting edge is protected so that it a doesn't get damaged but more importantly doesn't damage me or the user um, whilst in transit <coughs> then I don't see a problem with that personally and this was exactly five pounds delivered so I'm telling you the truth based on just my opinion um, I wouldn't recommend this for the money it's a it probably be good for making very small starting stick kindling that type of thing because it is quite sharp how long lived it would be because of the two part injection molded fiberglass hollow handle I don't know and should the time come when the axe handle does break or fracture um, because of the nature of the construction you're not able to reuse the axe head without welding etc something else on whereas the traditional style you can go and get yourself another shaft or even make one if you're in, in that situation and just do something to get you by you're able to reshaft it and go again you know and there's more material there should you want to resharpen regrind it so this should be more long-lived as well in my opinion for a pound less yes it's a pound weight more <laughs> but it's a pound less in money and for me a lot more versatile 
a lot more durable than this. This to me is a little bit of gimmickry, campfire, gadget tech sort of. That's the market I think this is appealing to, to be honest, you know. The weekend sort of, I ain't going to say hippies because that's derogatory. But um, you know what I mean, the, the playing at it, you know, they're probably going to take um, compressors and air, air bags, air beds, all that sort of thing, you know. Each to their own, not knocking that, but, you know, that's not what our channel, our community is based around in general. So, <clears throat> for me, I'll wrap it up now, bored you all to death, way too long as usual. The PBK hand hatchet, I wouldn't recommend it to be honest. It, won't, it wouldn't be something that I'd rebuy, other than to show you guys and lasses my opinions and thoughts. Um, I certainly wouldn't buy another one, but that's just me. I guess I'm old fashioned and set in my ways, but <laughs> proper acts for me every time. Anyway, hope you're all having a great weekend. I think it's the bank holiday weekend, or well, it certainly is over here in the UK. So um, whatever you guys and lasses are up to, enjoy yourselves, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon, which won't be long. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!